Have you ever wondered who was the most powerful pharaoh of ancient Egypt, commanding respect and awe even centuries after his reign? Let's journey back in time to the dawn of a pharaoh, a man who would become known as Ramesses the Great. Our story begins with a young prince born as Ramesses II. His childhood was far from ordinary, steeped as it was in the grandeur and opulence of the royal court of Egypt. Picture a young boy, his world enclosed within the majestic walls of a palace, his days filled with lessons designed to shape him into a future pharaoh. From an early age, Ramesses II was trained in the art of rule. His education was not confined to reading and writing, but extended to lessons in diplomacy, military strategy, and the intricate rituals of the Egyptian religion. Every day was a step towards his destiny, meticulously planned and executed under the watchful eyes of his tutors. A significant figure in his upbringing was his father, Seti I. As the reigning pharaoh, Seti I was not just a father, but also a mentor to his son. He saw in young Rameses the potential of a great ruler, a leader who could lead Egypt to new heights of glory. Satitha's influence on his son was profound. He instilled in him a sense of duty, courage, and the importance of upholding the traditions and values of their ancestors. Not only was Rameses II being groomed for kingship, but he was also being prepared for the heavy weight of responsibility that came with it. He was taught that a pharaoh was not just a ruler, but a living God, a divine being, whose actions could determine the fate of his people. So, with a royal upbringing and a destiny to rule, young Rameses II was set on the path to become Rameses the Great. His journey had only just begun, and the future was ripe with promise and potential. His story is a testament to the power of destiny, the shaping of a leader, and the dawn of a reign that would echo through the annals of history. The true test of a prince is not during his upbringing, but when he ascends to power and faces the challenges of ruling a kingdom. For Rames is the second, this test came in his early twenties, when he ascended to the throne following the death of his father, Seti I. His ascension wasn't a surprise, as he had been groomed for leadership from a young age. However, the reality of ruling over Egypt, one of the most powerful kingdoms of the ancient world, was an entirely different ballgame. Rames is the second, or Rames is the Great, as he would later be known, wasted no time in making his mark. He launched a series of military campaigns to secure Egypt's borders and assert its dominance over neighboring territories. These early campaigns were fraught with challenges, but Ramesses proved to be a capable leader, demonstrating a strategic mind and an unyielding determination. But the young pharaoh's ambitions extended beyond the battlefield. He initiated a number of large-scale construction projects throughout Egypt. These projects were not just grand displays of wealth and power, they were also a testament to Ramesses' vision for a prosperous and united Egypt. And let's not forget about the royal family. At the heart of Ramesses' personal life was his first wife, Nefertari. She was not only his queen, but also a trusted advisor and confidant. Together they had a large family with many sons and daughters. This domestic bliss, however, was not without its own challenges, as succession disputes and power struggles were common in royal households. Despite these trials and tribulations, Ramesses has never wavered in his mission to lead Egypt to greater heights. His reign was marked by a delicate balance of military might, architectural grandeur, and a keen sense of diplomacy. He ruled with an iron fist, but he also had a heart for his people, ensuring their welfare and prosperity. Ruling with an iron fist and a heart for his people, Rameses the Great was beginning to make his mark on history. They say a king is defined by his battles. For Rameses, it was the Battle of Kadesh that would etch his name in stone. Now imagine the year 1274 BC, the world's earliest recorded battle. Rameses, just a few years into his reign, leads his army toward the city of Kadesh. He's ready to reclaim this strategic stronghold from the Hittite Empire. With his chariot at the front, Rameses embodies the essence of a warrior king. But the Hittites were cunning. They sent false information about their location, luring the Egyptian forces into a trap. Ramesses, with only his Amun division by his side, found himself surrounded by the Hittite chariots. It was a near defeat, a seeming end to the young pharaoh's reign. 
However, Ramesses was not a king to be easily defeated. Despite the odds, he rallied his forces, steadied his chariot, and charged into the enemy. The Egyptians fought fiercely, the tide of the battle began to turn. Rameses, with his courage and tactical genius, was able to break the encirclement and push the Hittites back. The Battle of Kadesh was a turning point for Rameses. He had faced the threat of defeat, but through strategic brilliance and sheer determination, he had turned the tables on his enemies. The young pharaoh had proven his mettle on the battlefield. The victory at Kadesh did more than solidify his military prowess. It shaped Ramesses' image as a warrior king, a leader who could face adversity and emerge victorious. The story of the Battle of Kadesh was etched into the walls of temples across Egypt, ensuring that the memory of Ramesses' victory would endure for millennia. But Ramesses' reign was not defined by this battle alone. His legacy was built on more than just military triumphs. He was a builder, a reformer, and a pharaoh who left an indelible mark on the annals of ancient Egyptian history. In the face of adversity, Ramesses emerged victorious, earning him the title of a warrior king. A ruler's reign is often remembered by the monuments they leave behind. In Ramesses' case, these were grand structures that still inspire awe today. Ramesses the Great, also known as Ramesses II, was not just a warrior, but a builder. His reign, which lasted for 66 years, was marked by an unprecedented architectural expansion. A glimpse into his architectural legacy takes us to the grand structures of the Ramesseum and the Abu Simbel temples. The Ramesseum, Ramesses' mortuary temple, stands tall on the west bank of the Nile. This colossal construction is not just a monument, but a testament to his vision. A sprawling complex of courtyards, pylons and statues, it was designed to be a place of worship and a tribute to the pharaoh's life and achievements. Even in its dilapidated state, the Ramesseum speaks volumes about the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians and the grandeur of Ramesses' reign. Now let's turn our attention to the Abu Simbel temples, cut straight into a mountainside. They were a symbol of Ramesses' power and his divine connection. The larger of the two temples, dedicated to Ramesses himself, is adorned with four colossal statues of the pharaoh. This was Ramesses' way of ensuring that his legacy would endure, his face forever looking out over his kingdom. But these structures served a purpose beyond vanity or a simple display of power. They were places of worship, centers of commerce, hubs of cultural exchange. They helped to unify Egypt, serving as reminders of a shared history and a shared destiny. The scale, intricacy, and endurance of these structures are evidence of a leader who understood the power of architecture Rameses didn't just want to rule during his lifetime, he wanted to leave a mark that would transcend time, a testament to his grand vision and his desire for immortality. Rameses' architectural legacy is a testament to his grand vision and his desire for immortality. All great stories must come to an end. For Rameses, it was a reign that lasted 66 years, a testament to his enduring power. As the sun set on an era, Ramesses the Great, one of Egypt's longest reigning pharaohs, breathed his last. He passed away in his 90th year, an astonishing age for the time, reflecting both the privilege of his position and the advances in ancient Egyptian healthcare. His body was mummified, as was the custom, and placed in the tomb he'd had prepared in the Valley of the Kings. Today, his mummy resides in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, a tangible reminder of a man who was once considered a god, but Ramesses' legacy extends far beyond his physical remains. He fathered over a hundred children, ensuring the continuation of his lineage. Many of his sons and daughters became influential figures in their own rights, carrying on their father's ambitions and dreams. Moreover, Ramesses' impact on Egypt and the world is immeasurable. His military exploits, particularly the Battle of Kadesh, shaped Egypt's borders and influenced its relations with neighboring civilizations. His construction projects like the Grand Ramesseum and the awe-inspiring Abu Simbel showcased Egypt's architectural prowess and continue to draw visitors from around the globe. His reign, marked by prosperity and peace, became a model for future pharaohs. He transformed Egypt into a superpower of the ancient world, 
and his rule is often considered a high point in the grandeur of Egypt's civilization. Ramesses' influence didn't stop at his death. His life and reign have been a source of fascination for historians and Egyptologists, inspiring countless books, documentaries, and even films. His story has been passed down through generations, a testament to the enduring power of his legacy. Even in death, Ramesses the Great continues to command respect and awe, a true testament to his remarkable reign.